Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take this song before we pray. Battle of the Republic. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trapping out the vintage. We are he. We are the grapes of rats are stalled. He had loosed the faithful lightning of the terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, he's true. Is marching on. We are going to pray. Say, Father, touch my heart, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Take away the love of this world, Father. Take it away, Lord. Bring me to a place to comprehend the trumpet, Lord. Bring me to the place, O oh God, to stand straight, victoriously, Lord, over everything, O oh God, that has held me in captivity. Open your mind, begin to pray. Lord, as your word will be coming forth, Lord, let that word pierce through my heart, pierce through my soul, pierce through my spirits. Let there be a quickening in me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, speak, Lord, speak to me, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, this hour. We give you praise, glory, honor, and adoration be ascribed to your holy name. Father, we have come, Lord, we've come to your mercy seat, Father. We've come to seek strength. Amen. Father, we've come to seek healing, Lord. Father, we've come to receive life, oh God. We've come to draw from you, Lord. Father, let there be a break forth of the fountain of life, oh God, coming forth from the mercy seat, Father, pouring upon our desert, Lord, pouring upon our rocky land, oh God, pouring upon, oh God, our land that is filled with void and hopelessness and shapelessness lord father let there be oh god a sweeping over our souls in the name of the lord jesus please Amen. at the end of this meeting lord may we hit our chest and say now faith is now a substance lord oh speak to your servant father Speak through your servant, Lord. Oh, declare your whole counsel unto your children. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name. Praise the Lord. I hope my voice is sound. Quickly, shall we turn our Bible? Let's turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 7. This morning, I'll be speaking on the three levels of faith, the three levels 
level of grace in the ceiling of the servants of God. Turn with me to the book of Revelation 7. If you don't have your Bible with you, just give me your listening, divided attention. And after this, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four wings of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the tree. And I saw another angel ascending out, ascending from the east, having the sea of the living God. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hot not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. First Thessalonians 4. First Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Second Peter 1. From verse 4. We are by giving on towards exceedingly great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance, to temperance patience, to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity for if these things be in you and abound they make you that you shall neither be barren nor fruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. may the lord add to the reading of his word now we have come to that time in history we have come to that time in history that we should be serious of our life here we've come to that time in history and it's important we pay close attention to the war that is coming forth. It's very, very important. There is a wind that is waiting for you to come to maturity. The Lord is holding the hands of, of the winds that is about to blow on it. Now let me tell you something you must understand. For there to be a, a new creation, you must pass through a time of sorrow you must pass through a time of lack you must pass through a time of trials and it will not be enough you must also pass through death and it will not be enough then you must rise up a new man Praise be the name of the Lord. Now we are speaking about 
the three levels of faith in the ceiling of the servants of God. If previously we have come to his presence with a head knowledge, it must change today. Amen. It must change. Amen. We have not left our topic. Hairs of divine nature. It is now we want to build it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. We want to establish it. We want to bring down the tabernacle of God on earth. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's now that it must be established. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible spoke about the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Once. He said, contend for that faith. Faith that was once delivered unto the saints. There are different faiths in the world today. There are different religions in the world today. There are different belief systems in the world today. There are different men that proclaim they are speaking the truth today. But out of it all, there is only one faith. Yeah. Only one faith. Only one body. Yeah. Only one Lord. Only one baptism. Amen. A lot is about to change in your personal experience with Christ. Amen. If only you can be spiritually minded at this time. Amen. If only you can turn away from foolishness. The lot of foolishness that is going on in us. A lot of distractions. So much I cannot mention them. There are so much that is going on. There has been a time of slumber, spiritual weakness, spiritual slumber. That must change. Praise be the name of the Lord. The first step. The first step to the ceiling of the servants of God is the first step of grace, and that is faith. Mm -hmm. And there is no two types of faith. There is no three types. There is no different faith. There is only levels. We grow from grace to grace. Mm -hmm. We grow from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. But it is only one faith. And I want to talk about that faith. Faith that is once delivered to the saints. We spoke extensively on that yesterday. If you have time, go back and listen to that yesterday's meeting. Listen to it. If you can listen to it three times, go ahead and listen to it. We spoke extensively on that faith. Praise be the name of the Lord. That is the faith of the Son of God. That is the faith of sonship. That is the faith of the Logos that makes you understand that you are the Logos. The thought of God. Glory to God. That must be the faith in everyone that is listening to this voice. If you have been coming from other levels of faith, you must throw it away. This is the beginning. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This must be the foundation. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let's turn to John 17 3. John 17 3. It is those things that are very very important that we neglect and we chase after those big big things john 17 3 and this is live eternal that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom 
thou hast sent. We are speaking about hairs of his divine nature. Hairs of Zoe life. Hairs of the life of God manifesting the will of God in time. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, this is important. This is what makes you the temple of God, the tabernacle of God. And what is that? Because in the tabernacle of God, in the temple of God, what do we have there? We have the testament, we have the word. That is what we have in that temple. If you go into the most holy place, in between the cherubim, there lies the testament. That is what is in the temple. Amen. And you are a written episode of Christ. Amen. That is who you are. You are that testament. When Moses was building the temple, Moses saw the testament in the most holy place. Moses saw the glory of the, of the most holy place, the Shekinah glory, the dwelling glory of God. And that dwelling glory of God is the testament, is the wall. Is the logos Amen. and it has been declared to you so that you will know him who is true and that you are in him who is true even in his son jesus i said this is the true god and the zoe life the declaration of the life of the father in time Amen. glory to god hallelujah the Lord is manifesting men that are heirs of his divine life. Amen. Manifesting men that their nature is the life of the Lamb. Amen. Oh man. They are no longer moved by every wind of doctrine. They are no longer moved by every religious understanding and deception that is coming from the bottomless pits. Glory to God. Amen. They are no longer moved by any of this. They are the tabernacle of God. Amen. The dwelling place of the world. Amen. The book of life. That is what they are. Oh man. There's a difference between the faith of the old and the faith of now. Amen. The old saw you from afar. Amen. They could look and see the temple and see the three chambers of the temple. Many of them are kept outside of the temple. Only the priests are allowed inside of the holy place. Only the high priest is allowed in the most holy place. So they are seeing it in afar. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So their faith, their faith was on, on a symbol, on a type. Oh my. But today, that has changed. That's why Paul said, he said, now. Nah, Faith is the substance, Amen. is the evidence, Amen. is the life, Amen. is the logos, Amen. is the spirit. Amen. You talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is much more than the anointing that makes you so happy, Amen. that raises you up and makes you to see things that eyes cannot see. Is much more than that. Amen. Amen. Oh my. 
We are speaking of a life. We are speaking about tabernacle. Amen. We are speaking about his dwelling place. We are the world dwells. Amen. The house of brains. The house of God. Amen. The temple of God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now in the book of First Thessalonians 4 16, we saw Paul speaking about the three levels of grace the shout the voice and the trump three is the number of perfection if it's not three it's not perfect praise be the name of the lord Amen. if you judge yourself oh i am here i am in the shouts very soon i will be in the world very soon I will be in the trump. Brother, you don't have it. You are filled with unbelief. That is where Satan, the carnal mind, the carnal religious mind, the carnal system has held many in bondage. They want to tell you they are the one judging. They want to tell you, oh, many of them have signs. They can tell signs, but they cannot tell the appearing, the presence. Praise be the name of the Lord. You can tell it. They the, the flood the internet with signs that is going on in the heavens. They flood it up and down, but they cannot tell the true sign of the Son of Man. Amen. They can tell it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They cannot tell. The day star that is rising in the hearts of men. Amen. They cannot tell it. They are flooding everywhere with signs, with different pictures of the suns and the skies of the distant. They are still seeing the way of the old. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They have ignored the presence of Christ Amen. in his body. Faith once delivered unto the saints praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. i want us to if you cannot understand this saying go on your knees and pray cry to your father say father lord help me lord give me an understanding open my eyes lord to see the son of righteousness that is rising up that is sealing your servants lord help me father remember our seal is the holy spirit our seal is christ praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. now watch this remember that word is not divided is complete in itself in that word there is a shout in that word, there is the voice of the archangel. Amen. In that voice, in that word, there is victory. Amen. And that word is Christ. Amen. And that is the Logos. Amen. And that is the faith that we have received. Amen. There is virtue in that faith. Amen. There is life in that faith. Amen. There is so ye life in that faith. Amen. That's why Peter says, say, add to your faith virtue. Out, out of the Father, lower down, we can see a people who are hairs of the father Amen. in the lower condition they are hairs of life possessors of the zoe life the eternal life Amen. those that have the life of the father in them Amen. there is no power that can fight them there is no power that can bring them down. Amen. There is no power that can overcome them. Amen. 
Amen. There is nothing that can take them out of the hand of the Father. Amen. They have not only escaped corruption. They have overcome corruption. Amen. They have not only overcome corruption. Death is swallowed up victoriously in them. Amen. And the life of God is being revealed from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They are coming with the power of three. My. The Old Testament. They saw it afar. And it helped them to escape corruption. But listen. They never received the promise. Though they escape it. Listen. They never swallow up mortality though they escape it though they may have overcome it but it keeps rising up you see the case of the children of israel their enemy enemies is never coming to an end they overcome it it will come back it will rise up again it keep rising 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 there is no escape for them. But in the New Testament, we have not only escaped it, we have not only overcome it, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen. Mortality is swallowed up in victory. Amen. There is an unveiling of immortality. Amen. There is an unveiling of the life of the Father, Amen. the nature of the Father, Amen. the house of the Father, Amen. the life of the Father. Amen. In a people they are here and they are in heaven at the same time jesus christ will speak to the pharisee that came to him in the night that came to find out more he told him he said no man no man has ascended up to heaven except he that came down from heaven amen so man even the son of man who is in heaven that is the position you are occupying glory to god amen. it is a descending man it is a standing amen. it is an unveiling it is heaven and earth becoming one Amen. you have not only had it you have received it you have kept it in your heart you have become one with it the bible says he that have not the spirit of christ is none of his how do you think you have the spirit of christ it is not by the anointing no 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 they had it in the Old Testament. Even listen, listen, even those that knows nothing about God can be under an anointing. It's not about an anointing. It's not anointing that comes and goes. It is an indwelling. It is a house. The house of the anointing. It is the logos. You understand, you've come to the understanding that you are the logos. Amen. That is coming out of the Father. Amen. The thought in you is the thought in the Father. Amen. And that thought must be materialized on it. Amen. No matter what rises against that thought, no matter what rises against that knowledge, no matter what rises against it, it may be sickness, it may be lack, it may be trials, it may be temptation, no matter what it is, you are more than conqueror. Amen. Because he that is coming from heaven is above Oh, yeah. greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. There's a greater life. It is in you. It's greater than all your trials. Amen. It's greater than all your temptation. Amen. It's greater than all your emotion. It's greater than all your sin. Is greater than anything that is battling you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's a power in you. Because you have received that word, you had it, you receive it. You have kept it in your heart. You become one with it. You have come out from your old belief, from your old mind, from your old understanding. Coming out of that old man-made understanding, man-made system, man-made religious system, the system that sees Jesus as a man of 2,000 years ago, the system that does not recognize Jesus are in the flesh now within you, you've come out of those minds. You've come out of those understanding. You've come out of those man-made systems. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And in coming out, it is called the shout, the church. And you not just come out. You have kept that word in your heart. Amen. You've become married to that word. Amen. It has become who you are. Amen. It has become your voice. Amen. You are one with it. Amen. And it's not longer the church now. It is the wife. Yes, the wife. The wife, the wife of the of the groom, the wife of the world. That is what you have become. One with the world. You don't no longer look left. You no longer look li right. You don't have a lord. Husband means lord. Archangel means lord. The only voice that you obey, the only voice that owns your heart, the only voice that owns your being, the only voice that owns your life is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is the voice of the archangel. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we tired? Yes, sir. Just gone 30 minutes, so we have 30 minutes more to go. So now, quickly, let's turn to the book of Luke 646. We have the words, we are our words. Now we want to build a house. Luke 6. Luke 6. Luke 6 46. And why I call ye me Lord Lord? Take note of that. Why call ye me Lord Lord? And do not the things which I say. Now, this is the condition of many. Unfortunately, that is how many have become. And that is the nature of the old man. Many are still in their old mind. They are still in the mind of the old man. They had these words. That is coming with power. They will convince themselves by themselves. Oh, I will become it. Oh, I am waiting to become it. Listen, you, you are just deceiving yourself. I have to say it, I have to hit his heart. There are languages that must change, that must not proceed out of the temple. Go and look at what is proceeding out of the temple. It is voices. It is thundering. It is coming forth out of the temple. It is not. It is not something that is not sure. I will become it, and by faith I'm believing. No, not it. It's not that. Many call him Lord, Lord, Lord. It's just a lip service. Their heart is far away from reality. Listen, the 
kingdom age, the kingdom message people fall into this category. Oh, very loud in everything. We believe, we believe, we believe, we believe, but their heart is far from oh, it. Yeah. It's not in their heart, it's just lips. That word has not become flesh. That word has not become one. That word is still hanging. It has not come down. It has not descended. They only call him Lord, Lord, Lord. But their heart denies the reality. Repent and embrace the truth. It is not for you to determine. It's not for you to judge. Because if you are given to judge, you will judge wrongly. It is him. He is the judge. He's the head. He's everything. He said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Amen. You are not the Alpha and the Omega. You are not the beginning and the ending. You are not to judge. Because if the Lord gives you to judge, you will, your judge will be wrong. Oh, they call him Lord, 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 Lord. But the word of their Lord have not been sown in their heart to bring forth the life of their Lord. Their heart is far. They deny him. Oh, don't point hand. I couldn't figure. I'm not like that. Listen, we are all guilty and we must change. You say you call me Lord, Lord, Lord. And do not the things which I say. No. Because so religiously, until we become the dragon. That is the picture. We become dragon. We carry that kind of mind and give him a wing to fly in God's presence. That is what religion can do. Now let's. Let's not close this. Go to the Revelation 12. You see your true picture. Revelation 12. Revelation 12. Now watch. From verse 1. And I saw another mighty... No, it's not it. From verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with a sun. And a moon under her feet. This is the woman that have received the word. A woman that has kept the word in her heart. If you continue reading, you will see that this woman has a child in him. He's about to bring forth a son. He's about to ma manifest maturity. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now watch. And there appeared a great to wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. What is the moon? The moon is religion. The wrong interpretation of the truth. The moon is the church system, the religious mind. That is the moon. So this moon is under her feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now watch. And the moon under her feet. Watch this. And upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is the twelve stars? Twelve is the number of government. His mind is the mind of Christ. There is a star. I know what the star does. The star is pointing to the sun she's about to bring forth. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The mind of Christ. That is upon her head. And she, being with a child, cried, traveling in bath, pain to be delivered. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now there is a difference between this woman and the Revelation 
Revelation 10. Now let's come to Revelation 10. You see the difference. And you know why this woman is traveling in pain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Revelation 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head. This one has the rainbow. The other one has 12 stars. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And his face was as it to wear the sun. This one was putting on the sun. But this one, his face is like the sun. And his feet are pillar of fire. Now watch. And he had in his hand a little book. And upon his right foot. And he set his right foot upon the sea. And his left foot upon the earth. Praise be the name of the Lord. And cry with a loud voice. And when he has cried. And when he has cried seven thunders offer their voices now listen he placed his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth so you see in this revelation 10 the angel that is descending he put his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth so everything that the earth represents is under him religion everything under religion is under him then the sea is every carnal life every emotion everything is under him but when you come to revelation 12 in revelation 12 the moon is under him under this woman the moon is under this woman so this woman is still traveling in pain he must bring the earth under him and because she must bring the earth under him she ran into the wilderness he went into the wilderness what did he go into the wilderness to do he went into the wilderness to starve to starve that nature that dragon he went there to starve it that dragon has changed his color so he's going there to bring everything of that dragon down Praise be the name of the Lord. Uh, yeah. Wilderness is not, it's not, not a comfortable place. Wilderness is a place where you starve everything that is not of God. Jesus Christ went to the wilderness, didn't he? Glory to God. Uh, yeah. The Spirit led him into the wilderness. What did he go there to do? He go there to deal with those nature. Those beastly nature. The beastly nature is everything that is not of God. Because he's outside of God. So he needs to deal with some things. Praise be the name of the Lord. Some beastly nature. Some beastly lifestyle. He needs to deal with it. Glory to God. Now, this woman has the word in her heart. Kept it in her heart. And is bringing forth some. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Many have not come to this. Now look the second one. And there appeared another wonder in verse 3. In heaven. And behold a great red dragon. Having seven heads. And ten horns. And seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third parts of the stars of heaven. Now this woman has twelve stars. But this one. The tail. Do you know what the tale is? His doctrines, his teaching, carnal teaching, carnal mind religion. Is not what he's doing. He's bringing down the stars that will point you to the morning star. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's drawing it down, bringing it down. Is his teachings, his wrong teachings, his wrong doctrine. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A man that is. You know, that is putting on, masquerading himself like Christ without being changed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Without coming through the door, without coming through the foundation, 
Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So this is how many have become religious. So religious. They will quote and quote and quote you out of the Bible. They become very religious. They call him Lord with their lips. They fall into that category when the Lord said, He said, I don't know you. I know you not. He that have not the spirit of Christ is none of his. If the Logos is not in you, and you are not proceeding out of the Father as the Logos, you will have no part in him. You just have a head knowledge. And you cannot be able to overcome. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because it is the Logos, the Spirit, that is doing the quickening in you. That is doing the overcoming in you. That is being one raising you up. Giving you victory. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go back to Luke 46. So this morning we are going to repent. We're going to repent. You know the Bible says the kingdom of God is within you. Is near you. Is at hand. In the Old Testament, they are seeing it afar. It's very far. So many are in the New Testament. They are still seeing it afar. If, if you see it afar, brother, sister, you are sleeping. You have not waking up yet. You are still in a dreamland. You have not waking up. You are still sleeping. The kingdom of God is near is at hand oh my now let's continue verse 47 whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying now and doeth them i shall show you to whom he is like he is like a man which build a house digget deep and lay the foundation on the rock and when flood arose the stream beats vehemently upon that house and could not shake it for it was founded upon the rock but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation build a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the reels of that house was great praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. so it's, a, it's time to build it's time to become the tabernacle how many are are going to be like having the same foundation of the apostles and the prophets. He said, "This is say we are built. They build upon the foundation of the apostles." Now, when the Bible talks about the apostles, he was not referring to the twelve apostles. Praise be the name of the Lord. You must understand these things. Their spiritual language. The apostles. They are the overcomers. He's referring to the overcomers. He's referring to the one that have heard that word. And that word is in his heart. Abides in his heart. He speaks that word. He confess that word. He lives that word. He becomes the voice of that word. And out of his belly is flowing that word. That is the apostle and prophets. Because when that word is in you, you become the house of that word. Your mouth becomes the mouth of that word. You become the prophets of Christ. The mouthpiece of Christ. Testifying of the word that is inside of you. See, out of your belly is flowing out. Rivers of life. You are not saying what you read from Ibi. 
you are not saying what you read from any of those men or what you read from me you are saying what you know Amen. what you understand Amen. what has become your life Amen. that is the prophets it's a foundation is built upon the foundation of the prophets and the apostles and the lord jesus christ himself being the chief corner store because makes you a pillar in the house the stone that holds the house of god praise be the name of the lord the mouthpiece of christ you become a pillar you become the logos the life the word made flesh and manifesting the world Amen. overcoming the world Amen. and becoming the world Amen. i am he that was that is and that is to come the almighty Amen. praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. you see the difference so when they tell you the, the prophets you go to the old testament prophets and maybe they knew no that is not what it is it is for the overcomers it's for all that position is for all that position of pillar is for all but you must rise up Amen. out of the world it must be a descending it must be a stone that is caught without hands Amen. that is descending out of the realm of god Amen. out of god and become a tabernacle on it. The tabernacle of God is with man. Emmanuel. God with us. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord is about to show you things that will come hereafter. He's about to show you things that will come hereafter. But you must start. You must come to that place of now. Amen. That place of that foundation. Amen. That place of that logos. Amen. You remain there. Amen. You die there. You bury there. Amen. And you will rise up in your mind. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's quickly turn to the book of Matthew 16, 18. I have like five more minutes more. Matthew 16, 18. Matthew 16, 18. Now watch. He said, take it up. Take it up. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples to say, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they say, Some say, Thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others, Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets, he said unto them, Whom but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you. But my father which is in heaven he said and i say unto thee that thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it Amen. and i will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven Amen. and whatsoever thou shall lose on earth shall be loose in heaven Amen. you see where the key is it lies in that rock it lies in that foundation 
it lies in that faith and this faith is not an imperfect that sees him afar this is the faith of the son of god the logos voices are going to be thundering i can hear voices coming forth from the house of god thundering like thunder praise be the name of the lord i can hear people changing their testimony i can see a change that is coming forth a living faith a faith that is made alive oh my a faith that has given you a new life zoe life a life that overcome cancer Amen. a life that overcome sin Amen. a life that overcome witchcraft Amen. a life that overcome everything of this world Amen. oh my Oh, you have a life inside of you the life of jesus christ Amen. when paul was talking about this life in romans 5 10 because when we talk about this life many have been deceived to believe oh it must be an anointing that will shake you you will stand up you will fall you carry one leg up carry one leg head leg no that is not it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. He's a Zoe life. Amen. His life. It is that spirit, that faith that you have believed is that spirit. If you hear about the spirit of God, it is the quickening faith, quickening seed. That is the spirit that is now running in your veins. Yeah. it is running in your vein it's the life that is running in your vein that is the spirit praise be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. it's running inside of you that's the faith that's the spirit that's the seed that is the life that is the Holy Spirit Amen. praise be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. so let's see what Paul said about it Go to Romans 5.10 so that you know what it is. And you know what you have. And what you should be. Romans 5.10 Romans 5.10 For if when we were enemies we were reconciled in God by the death of his son much more be reconciled we shall be saved by his life so that is the life that is now your life Amen. that logos that logos that was with the father is now with you Emmanuel God with us is now with you you have the life there's a life inside of you enough life to heal any sickness enough of life to do anything to manifest life is inside of you that life that was with the father is now with you praise be the name of the lord and yeah Romans 6 4. Romans 6 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness so there must be a new walk we must walk in newness of this life that you have received no longer in your fear no longer in your unbelief no longer in your religious ways you must now walk with this 
life. Like Paul would say, say, I am. Who is the I am? My old way. My old life. My old thoughts. My old way of life. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I that live it, but Christ Jesus live it in me. See, so the, the life are now live in the flesh. He's living a new life in the flesh. The world has become flesh. The life are now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to stop here. I believe God. I believe God. It was done. Evil as He has said. Trust and obey. Look up and see. I believe the Lord. I believe the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We are grateful for this world. Making us heirs of your divine nature. Now we we know, Lord, that life is in us. Amen. That life that was with the Father is now with us. Amen. Not just sons that don't know their left from their right, but sons that understand that they are sons. Amen. Sons that know who they are. Bless sons that know the authority, that know the life, that know why they are here, Lord. We Amen. know that that life is now with us. Yeah. Oh God. Help us, Father. Yeah. Even Jesus, as the Son of Man, prayed. And Father, we are praying and calling upon your name, Lord. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Help us, Father. Yeah. Direct our paths. Yeah. May we walk not in our own way. Yeah. Let us walk in the predestinated way of the Father. Amen. May we walk into the wilderness and starve every nature in us. Amen. Every dragon in us. Amen. Every man-made system in us. Amen. And rise up victory Gloriously, Lord, Amen. a new man. Amen. Help us, Father. In the days of trouble, Lord, be our comfort. Amen. In the days of amnesia, Lord, remember us. Amen. Bring us to remembrance, Lord. Amen. May we be active, Lord, Amen. in season out of season Amen. being the season that bring forth the light of god in our lives Amen. and in the world Amen. bless us all lord Amen. so rebuke every spirit of infirmity lord every spirit of cancer every spirit of sickness lord we cast them out of the life of your children, Father. Amen. Lord, I speak healing to your sons and your daughters. Amen. Bring us back here on Wednesday, Lord. Amen. And Amen. continue to wash us by the washing of the word. Amen. The water of the word Amen. by the word. Amen. Until your life shine forth Amen. in us. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you, Lord.